G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and for today's video I'm going to show you how to create a data extension and then load in all of your contacts so that you can query them in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So you may have noticed as you explore Marketing Cloud that sometimes your all subscribers list count is different to your all contacts count. Now that's because all subscribers are in fact contacts but not all contacts are subscribers. Contacts can also include your mobile list and your mobile push subscribers. Now, unfortunately in Marketing Cloud there is no way to directly query your contacts list. You have to do it through a separate workaround which I'll show you today. If you have a look in the video description below you'll find a link to my SFMC data views diagram. And here if you zoom in you can see the relationship between your Salesforce sales cloud records, your email subscribers and your mobile address lists. You can see they all connect through the contacts table which again you can't query directly. What you can do is make a filtered mobile list with these fields here. So let me show you how to do that. To start with we jump into your contact builder. Once in contact builder jump into your all contacts tab. Now once this page loads we're going to select the mobile lists tab from the top of the screen. On this list we're going to go through and create ourselves a brand new mobile list. Now, I've already made a all contacts list before, it's one of the first things I do in Marketing Cloud but let's go through and make a new one for this example. So I'll click on create mobile list. I'm going to choose to make a filtered list from Mobile Connect. I'll then go OK. Now from this list we're going to use the all contacts list. So we just select all contacts and then go select. On this screen is our filtered criteria. Now we don't want to filter where the mobile phone number is null that would make a mobile filtered list. So we close out that criteria and instead we're going to go into our system data and choose our contact and then choose our contact key. And here we're going to say where contact key is equal to, no we're going to say is not null. So give me all contacts in the contact data which have a contact key which of course is 100% of the contacts. So I'll choose done and then save as filter. Now this one will leave it as a standard format and I'll call this one the uh, demo all contacts. Just like that. With that done I'll go save. And once the next screen loads we can see that our mobile filtered list has been created and we have a total count of all the contacts in the instance. Now the cool thing is that the name of this filtered data list which I've used demo underscore all contacts is going to be the name of the data extension that was created with that filter. Now unfortunately we can't find the data extension directly in the folders of Marketing Cloud but we can query it using SQL in Automation Studio. So let's copy this data extension's name and then we'll jump in to our data extensions and make a new data extension to copy the data into. So over in our data extensions let's now create ourselves a new data extension to put our data into. We'll make a standard data extension, go OK. Call this one my demo contacts. And I'll go next. Now for our fields we have to follow the same field naming convention as we have in our mobile filter list. So I'm just going to put in subscriber key for now as I just want a list of all my subscriber keys. So I'll take subscriber key just like that, jump back into my data extension and go subscriber key with a full length. I'm going to select that one field and I'll go create. And with the data extension created let's now jump into Automation Studio and make some SQL to query that data. So first thing I'll do is I'll jump into a new automation, call this one my demo contacts, done. Let's make ourselves some SQL. So for our query we're going to choose to create a new query. We'll call this one our demo contacts and we'll go next. Now this activity of course we're going to copy the data from that mobile filtered list into our brand new data extension. Now our data extension that we made only has one field. So as you can see my demo here, my demo contacts only has one field subscriber key. So we're going to select our values from our mobile filtered list into our subscriber key field. Now it's going to be from the table of, if we have a look back into our mobile connect it was that name there. So we'll copy that name, go back into our Automation Studio and it's from that table. You can check it out for ourselves by going and validate syntax and there we are it's all working so far. I'll then go next, I'll make this an overwrite function and choosing our destination data extension. 
as our demo contacts with our one field, perfect, and next and finish. What they should now do is query that mobile filtered list to get all the subscriber keys in that list, of course there should be 3,597, and save their subscriber keys into my newly created data extension. So let's now go save and run the activity to import those records into our data extension. Okay, so the automation is now running and the SQL is processing and hopefully once we refresh it, done in just 30 seconds. So now if we go back into our data extensions, we should be able to refresh our data extension folder here and hopefully our demo contacts has those 3000 or so contacts. Perfect, and it does. We have 3,597 contacts found. I can jump into my demo contacts and have a look for myself to make sure all those subscriber keys are filled out. Go into my records and sure enough, we can see a lot of records have come through. Look at that. I now jump back into my contact builder and have a look for myself. I do in fact have in my all contacts 3,597. So I've picked up all of those contact records. So there's a few reasons why you want to create this kind of automation inside of your Marketing Cloud account. The biggest one, of course, being to maintain your contacts. By using this mobile filtered list followed by an SQL activity into a data extension, you can then do some joins onto your all subscribers or your master customer views to see which contacts are still active subscribers in your database. And for any records that are no longer subscribed or actively receiving emails, you can process those records through a contact delete process to clean out those non-required records. However, I'll leave the contact delete for another day. As for now, I hope you enjoyed the mobile list workaround to create a full data extension of all your contacts. If you have, please let me know in the comments below with a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.